News is celebrating Black History Month, and today we shine a light on a man breaking barriers at the state capitol. That's right, Delegate Don Scott is the first black speaker of the House in the history of the Commonwealth. And Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander was there when he was sworn in. It was quite the momentous occasion, Tyler. Well, Eric Deanna, Don Scott is the 58th House Speaker in Virginia's history, but he is nothing like his predecessors. While Scott is the first black person to lead the House, his story is about a lot more than that. Every day I walk in this room, it's literally, I, I'm in awe. Don Scott is the most powerful man in the Virginia General Assembly. I was 86, nose nine, the bill passes. I see the ghost in this room for the people who came uh, in this room before me who did not get the opportunity to sit in these seats. They were the servants. They were the folks that used their hands to build this place. The 58-year-old from Portsmouth is the first black speaker of the Virginia House of Delegates, a chamber that dates back centuries. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. It says a lot about uh, how far Virginia's come to, to um, allow someone like me to, to have the opportunity to do this job, and I'm grateful. Scott, who was born in Houston and raised by a single mother, enlisted in the Navy shortly after graduating college. He was deployed overseas in the Persian Gulf. I look at this as a continuation of that service to make sure that we protect this democracy, to make sure that we give those folks who are making those sacrifices, sometimes with their very lives, give them something to come back home to and something to be proud of. After returning home from military service, Scott's journey hit a speed bump. In 1994, he was arrested as part of a drug conspiracy case. He would end up spending more than seven years in federal prison. What it taught me was stick to your plan. You're going to face obstacles. You're going to face uh, adversity. How do you deal with that adversity is what, what matters most. Scott, now a month into his new job, says he's hoping his rise to the top of Virginia politics will serve as a lesson to young black kids across the Commonwealth. And I'm holding the spot for you. I'm warming it up for you. Feel free to come in and take my spot in some years, in several years, uh, but they can come in and, and they can be the speaker, they can be president of the United States, they can be whatever they want to be. And now Scott is one of seven black speakers across the country, which is a record. Live at the state capitol, Tyler Englander, 8 News.